this album to introduce myself. My name is Muhammad al uh, I work for Endless Transport as uh, head of technical education section. Actually, uh, actually uh, what I will talk about today uh, is. Sorry, it's, uh, of, uh, I will be talking about preventive maintenance, and this is a big part of uh, fleet management actually. Uh, in the beginning, preventive maintenance is a part of maintenance actually. The maintenance is the costly uh, thing that every organization is thinking about actually. They are thinking, everybody is thinking about maintenance, like I'll pay money for nothing. But actually, maintenance is uh, reducing, and preventive, sorry, preventive maintenance is reducing the amounts paid for vehicles or any type of machineries to. Uh, to reduce the cost, that's, that's reduce, you can call it a profit for the company and so. uh, Here, I'll be talking about the four dimensions of uh, preventive maintenance. The four dimensions management, economic, uh, psychological and engineering. Uh, those uh, four dimensions, uh, we, can, uh, we can start with management actually. Uh, management and preventive maintenance, uh, what you do is plan, plan or schedule your vehicles, uh, depends on uh, how many vehicles you have. You should, what we should have is uh, to, to uh, do preventive maintenance for the 100% planned schedule. So uh, what uh, the management, uh, what in the management field, we can <coughs> After planning, the, 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 maybe, uh, sorry, I'm, uh, I just spoke with Mr. Dolby and I told him that this is my first presentation, so mind my language. <laughs> I was uh, doing presentations only inside the Emirates Transport, so I'm very, I'm a little bit nervous now, just mind me. Uh, planning, preventive maintenance, uh, in management field, you, you will plan. You need to do all the planned preventive maintenance in uh, the workshop. Preventive maintenance, when you do the preventive maintenance, you reduce the corrective maintenance. Always, if you reduce the corrective maintenance, that means you reduce the cost of uh, the, the total uh, the cost of maintenance. Here, uh, economic, we have uh, in the transport, actually, uh, we have uh, technical, uh, sorry, a technical committee who does the, anal uh, the economical analysis. Uh, this uh, economical analysis, when, uh, uh, when we see something in preventive maintenance, we, when we want to develop or uh, to develop the task list in preventive maintenance, we just do this uh, economical analysis. We, uh, this work, like it's worth it, this is a very important work when you want to, to, uh, to develop the task list. Uh, so this work should be in mind every time you think to change the task list. Like for example here, we have, if we are doing one hour weekly task at 50 grams, cost us as manpower or something, 50 grams, it worth, uh, uh, per week, uh, 50, 50 grams per week, so it will be worth it 2,600 per year. So if this 2,600, when we think about it, when we, uh, if this 2,600 grams per year will reduce the cost of changing some types of parts, let us uh, say maybe it will cost 15 to 20,000 per year. So this task is very important to do it. But if like let's say if we are changing a blood, it will cost us maybe 500 per year, 500 grams. So this task or this mission in preventive maintenance is not important to, to be added as, as a task list. So it will be uh, in, in, uh, like uh, scheduled as uh, we can and you know, we don't need to change it. So if worth it is a very important work, keep it in mind in changing in, in, in task list. Uh, psychological, uh, we, we, we need 
Yeah, and we need to assign technicians to do what they like to do, to uh, keep them comfortable of doing what they need, what they like to do. And even always changing, changing the task between the mechanics to keep them uh, away from routine work and uh, being bored from what, what they are working on. You know? So uh, this is the uh, psychological uh, side. And also we need to promote the culture of preventive maintenance between all our technicians, mechanics, even, even the supervisors in, in, uh, in the workshop. Uh, engineering, this is a very important point, very important dimension actually. Uh, here the technical analysis. While working in preventive maintenance, we have a task list here, like task 1, task 2, task 3. So here I have an example written here. Task 1 could be anything, like uh, we are checking engine, then checking gear, checking something. So here the example would be like, like task 4, we are inspecting cooling system in, in, in the preventive maintenance task list. So uh, we have checked and we, have here, we, we see something wrong with, with cooling system. In, uh, in, uh, in the task list. So what we do, we prepare a work order, corrected work, to change uh, the, the spare part, the change the part, or do, do, do the maintenance on this uh, system. So for example here, removing and replace the radiator. After doing this work, this is the normal work which is happen every day in the workshop. After that is the most important thing, is the analysis, the technical analysis, and even, yani, don't forget the work of worth it. Yani, if you are changed, if you change the part that worth to do analysis, so we will do that, do this analysis. And, uh, to, to, uh, then, to, uh, what we will do, we will analyze why the radiator failed and uh, what causes the failure. Again, if, if it's normal, normal failure, like by age or something, just we forget it and continue with it. But if worth it, so we can, if we can add some procedures or, or change some parts like uh, with better quality, so we do, uh, we do this uh, study and raise it to the technical committee. And if the solutions and the modified modify task, this to reduce frequency, then it will be uh, eligible to be changing the task list for it. So, and, uh, this is a uh, very, uh, very important thing to do this technical analysis. And uh, that's it. Actually, I'm talking about the technical analysis. If anybody have any question, you can ask me. Thank you very much. Well, please give uh, a round of applause. What I would do, as we did with the session this morning, we're going to hold the questions until all three speakers have been up. Then we'll have them up here and you can blast them with your questions, okay? Get them ready. Okay, thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.